What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to record your iPad or iPhone screen professionally. So there's actually a few pieces of software that you're going to need. First you are going to open up your internet, uh, whether you have Internet Explorer, Safari, Google Chrome, doesn't really matter. And you gotta head over to uh, reflectorapp.com and this was known as reflection when I bought it but they changed their name to reflector and uh, what this does essentially does is it mirrors your iPhone iPhone 4s or the iPad 2 to your Mac or PC wirelessly that's right you don't need cables or anything like that it's all done wirelessly and really all you need is for uh, Windows you need XP or greater and a compatible device and you can uh, also for the Mac you need uh, Mac OS 10.6.8 so to purchase it you can either download it and they give you a 10 minute time limit on each recording and uh, so you could test out try before you buy or if you want to you could go ahead and just purchase it it's only $13 and if you really passionate or you uh really want to do this you know it's worth the 13 dollars. it really is because there's so much that you could do with it and then the second piece of software which is optional but i found it to be really really helpful is what i'm using now is uh screenflow and you just go to telestream.net slash screenflow and uh, what this does is if you're doing face cam tutorials like I am uh, it's really good because it just syncs everything up right off the bat there's no you know recording one and then recording the other and then try to sync it up it just syncs it up right then and there and it's actually pretty good you can download the free trial or you can go to buy and it is a hundred dollars so it is ninety nine dollars it's a little pricey but once again Try before you buy, download it, see if you like it, all that good shit. So after you get done, you're going to launch Reflection. And this is where it's going to come in. You're going to have to double tap the home screen. And you're going to have a little icon like this at the bottom. Kind of looks like a little TV. And then it's going to show your iPad. And then it shows your device that you installed now. So if you installed it on, you know, Giant Grinders PC it's going to show up or Giant Grinders MacBook or you know whatever you name your computer it's going to come up here and then you just slide metering on from off to on and that's it now you have a fully functional it doesn't really lag if you play games or something like that it lags like slightly but it's kind of unnoticeable when you're actually doing your tutorials or gaming or you know whatever you really want to do and uh, now normally this looks really unprofessional and uh, so you know you have my whole desktop and it just it just doesn't look that mo that professional so if you go to device and then you uh, click either it's a uh, app or control or command F or uh, yeah command F you can enter full screen and this actually uh, helps a little bit better if you really want to, you know, kind of isolate it into your own. You can also crop the screen too in post production. If you want to just get, if you just want to show the screen, you can blow up the, the screen a little bit and uh, you can show just the screen and then the face cam. Or if this works for you and you just want to do tutorials with no face cam that works too either way um it actually works pretty good actually here i'll uh, open um i'll open up the walking dead just to just to show you what is going on and it actually goes out your um computer yeah it actually goes off your computer screen your your speakers so and turn this up And uh, yeah, it's so all together you can spend anywhere from thirteen dollars to about one hundred and thirty dollars. So click, click next. Um, 
All right, so this is The Walking Dead. The If you ever played The Walking Dead, they have the iPad, iPhone, or the iOS version, and then they have the actual uh, console game and the PC version. But you can download The Walking Dead for free, and you can play, I think, Episode 1, I believe, for free. So here it is. Uh, we'll just hit play. And just hit continue just to show you that, you know, it is just to show you. No cables. And that is the beauty of it. Alright. So there you go. And that is how to record your iPad or iPhone 4S screen professionally. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't to, and as always, I'll catch you guys in the next video.